This is Cato Hawes. It's the 26th of February, 2024. And for years I've been looking for a really easy, effortless way to do a friction fire that even a young boy could do. And I'm coming closer. Um, well, you know, it helps if you got a metal lined uh, ham piece. But, uh, oh, even something like this will work. Just take and, uh, trouble is when you're in the outdoors coming, all of this stuff is more problematic. It takes time to find or make. But if you got a lot of time and you're just out there enjoying yourself, good way to kind of pass the time but that's a pretty decent ham piece and if our um, spindle is pointed at the top it should spin in there effortlessly we could put a little lubrication off our nose on it and then uh, that's probably not necessary one of the key things to this is having a, a lower end that creates a lot of friction. Let me show you a picture. So this would be your upper end. Since this is to a sharp point and there's no speed in the center of a shaft, potentially that's a frictionless top. Now the bottom, we want to be where the center of the shaft is not touching, but the shoulders are touching. The shoulders, the outside of the shaft is where all the speed is. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to take this nice spindle that I carved out of a seep willow stick. And seep willow is kind of hollow core. Well, that's good. That is very good. Hollow core spindles develop more heat than solid ones, especially if they're kind of flat bottomed. Or even better, if we take and enhance that hollowed out feature just a little bit by going like this. I don't know if a boy can work this or not, but uh, I'm gonna see if I think it's effortless. Here's another hand piece we can use if, if uh, this one over here fails on us. I got me a nice chip there to catch the cold. I've even got me a leg of a table to lean against if I work this right. Hopefully you can see down in there. I'm going to see if I can get this to work effortlessly. I'll need this just a little tighter. I can adjust my Clove hitch, up, clove hitch up there. That's a little loose, but I can tighten it with my thumb. Yeah. It's always better to start with it nice and tight. And then we'll put our hand piece over that. I hear some friction down there. I see smoke. Smell it real strong. It's easy to pull for me. I don't know about a younger boy. Your bow technique, something you want to work on. Nice, level, horizontal strokes. Now what I want to do is get a coal without working like a madman. 
I don't know if that's going to happen. Well, that's about as effortless as I've seen. So remember that hollow core trick, having your spindle sharp at the top, a little lubrication doesn't hurt, so that's the top, and then something like this, you can make a base out of. This is the base I used here, and that's got yeah, that's got a good, good amount of friction there. Not so much I couldn't pull it. It was pretty easy. Probably never seen it much easier than that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you'll give it a like. And have a great day. Good luck.